Hey guys, welcome back to On The Hook. We're here in Pauly's Island. That's the southern end of the Grand Strand. You know, your seafood capital of the world. And we're here today with Chef Armando at Seoul, and he's gonna be cooking up some awesome flavor with some red snapper. Chef, let's go. Hi, I'm Dylan Foster, and I love seafood. I've been in the Myrtle Beach area for more than 15 years, and since then, my life has revolved around seafood. From cooking and catching it, to serving and selling it, I've done just about everything you can do in this industry. So come and join me as we tour the places, faces, and tales of Myrtle Beach seafood. This is On The Hook. All right, guys, we're here in the kitchen. Chef Armando, we've got all of our ingredients laid out. We've got the snapper, all kinds of good vegetables. I'm gonna let this man get to it because I am excited and I'm also very hungry. Let's get cooking here with this sauce. I love all of these bright, fresh ingredients that we have here. I see some onions, some diced tomato, lime. We have some Mexican oregano. Man, this is awesome. The first time I've ever, ever had the chance to work with something like this. It's gonna be awesome. We've got capers, homegrown jalapeno, yes, right? Sir from the man's garden. This guy does it all here at, at Seoul. From the garden to your plate. There you go. This is a one-stop shop. This man is doing it all. You and Esmeralda, it's a it's a man and a woman, husband and wife show, and I love that. It's so family-oriented. But we're gonna start with the sauce. Yes. Filling a little bit of oil on the pot. All right. What kind of oil are you using there, Chef? We're using uh, a mixture of uh, canola and uh, olive oil. Okay. So canola olive oil. He's got the canola for the high heat. It's not going to break down and burn as fast. And the olive oil for the flavor. It's a good combo there. He gets the best of both worlds. Smart choice. We're going to do some of the onions. There we go. Look at that heat. Nice sear on those onions. Use all the onions. There you go. And we're going to do a little bit of the garlic at the same time. Oh, yeah. So it Already cooks, smelling good in here. So it cooks but not burns. You gotta be careful with that garlic. You know how to fix garlic in a burnt dish. Burnt garlic, you gotta toss that sucker right out. So we're gonna watch this heat very, very carefully. But boy, it's smelling awesome already. And also tip, if you're using a non-stick pan, make sure you don't scratch it. Yeah. It'll be worthless. You're gutsy here. You got the non-stick with the metal tongs. You're just throwing caution to the wind. We do a little bit of the tomatoes into it. Homegrown as well? Not homegrown. Not homegrown. He's got to take a break somewhere. Guys. Yeah. We got the jalapenos. And all of your ingredients, Chef, so let's talk. While we're sauteing here, all of your ingredients, everything that you're prepping, you guys do on a daily basis. Your we coolers do, yes. are empty right now because uh -huh. you haven't even started prepping yet for the day. That's no. awesome. Everything is due on a daily basis Man. from here at, here at Seoul, down in Paul's Island, you're moving like a, you're going for more of a quality, not a quantity, right? You're prepping everything to order, everything We're gonna make day. it nice and spicy. Nice and spicy. Oh, man. Ha <laughs> ha! A little bit more oil. Yes, sir. The smells, so aromatic. The onions, the garlic, the tomato, and now we've got that jalapeno. Just the smells, look at the colors. The colors are bright and fresh. A little salt we'll going a little in. Salt before you put all the olives and capers. Mm -hmm. Because olives and capers are usually pretty salty. Right. You gotta be careful, you don't wanna over salt. With the, we've got the salt coming from the olives, the salt coming from the capers. So you gotta be really careful not to over salt it with that kosher salt. You get a lot of natural salt from those capers and those olives. So that's awesome. Now we're gonna add a little bit of uh, some fish or chicken stock, whatever okay. you have on hand. There you go. Make sure it's pretty simple. And that's gonna just reduce down? It's gonna reduce down a little bit. You don't want it very thick. You want it to be a little bit on the um, on the thin side. Okay. Right? And you don't want the, the vegetables to overcook too much. You wanna have you wanna, still a nice al dente yes, bite you and, wanna and, have and the jalapenos and the onions, yes. definitely. And on this side, we're gonna season the fish with a little salt. Okay. Fish is just so nice. Fresh, local vermilion snapper. And, and Chef, let's talk a little bit about what it feels like for you, or what it means to you, rather, to be able to connect so many dots here locally. Here we go with the fish. Skin in, you hear that sizzle, that We know that nice, that canola, whoa, splattered. We know that canola, that olive oil is nice and hot. It's gonna get a nice, 
crispy sear right on that on that skin. Awesome. Oh man, I am looking forward to this. You want to cook it nice on the skin side, and then you flip it over, and it should be almost done. There you go. So cooking so, it, cooking it mostly on the skin side, most of the time there on the skin side. So you're going to get a nice crispy skin that's going to cook almost all the way through. And then we got those capers in there, and then the textures. Bang. What was it? I missed the bang. Ah, oh, those olives. green olives just hit the pot. Awesome. Look at the texture, the color, the flavor, the aromas coming off the pan. Really awesome. Really great. Looking forward to this, actually. You want to taste the sushi? Yes, of course I want to taste. Here we go. Oh, yeah. It's a little warm. Oh yeah. Cool. Mm. Wow. All right. Cool, man. I wish you guys could be here. Those jalapeno chefs have some kick. The homegrown jalapenos yes, got sir. a little bit of heat. We're getting hot down here in Seoul. And then you just do the uh, Mexican oregano like that. Wow. That's the technique. Years of experience, generations of experience grinding that dried Mexican oregano in his hand, breaking it up. Oh, that changes the flavor. That changes the smell in here all immediately. I love this. All right, that let's see what this heat. fish looks like. A lot like. of texture from those vegetables. Oh, man, look at that. Oh, yeah. See how beautiful this is. Yeah, we're doing it. Yes, sir. That nice, crispy skin. And that's a great that's a great choice you made there with the canola oil and the olive oil. Because you're going to have the flavor of the olive oil and that high heat and the consistency of the canola oil is going to make searing fish like that, getting a nice crispy skin, really, really possible. And look, when we split it, we split that skin so it's going to lay flatter in the pan. The fish isn't going to naturally curl up. You're going to open that fish up, give it more flavor, give it more a little bit more of broth. Ooh. Man. So here in Seoul, you guys are prepping everything to order. And let me tell you, I'm impressed with your kitchen, frankly. This is the cleanest kitchen I've ever been in. And to know that you have such a small team that are keeping this place clean, prepping everything to order, I mean, it is beautiful in here. You guys really do a great job. Thank you, you. and your wife should really be proud of yourself for coming in, supporting the community, and pumping out delicious food like this on a daily, nightly basis. Thank you very much. Um, we do take the credit for it, but I also want to uh, bring my mom to it. Okay. We were very, um, we didn't have that many or that much when we were growing up. And she always said that being poor doesn't mean you're going to be dirty. You have a dirty house. So it really don't matter if you have too much or too little. Your house should be clean because that's your image. Wow. And I love the fact that you just brought your mother into this because I'm a family man. You're a family. Like this is so important, especially here in this community, and for you to be doing this, living through your mom's passion, living through your own passion, and being able to bring it right. to the forefront on such an amazing stage. You should really be proud, Chef. Fish is ready. And I am excited for this meal. Let ready me to rock. That. We're going to make two nice dishes in here. Sauce on the bottom. We're going to do a little bit on the bottom. Try to get these right on the plate oh, without breaking it. Oh boy. Look at how gorgeous that is. I always say if you're gonna do something, do it the right way. Amen, so you, brother. So you feel proud of it. Amen. And let me say, looks like you are doing it See? right. I the pen is really gonna look like nothing happened into it. <laughs> So chef, this is the Veracruz style. What part of Mexico was this inspired from? Where is this from originally, geographically, from your home state in Mexico? Right? This is um, from the state of Veracruz. Okay. The state is all the way at the end, uh, close to the border with Guatemala and Belize and uh, all so those countries. Southern. Southern, southern, southern. Very southern, like the southern you can go. And it's, is there a Mediterranean? 
influence there? Uh, because, I mean, the olives, the capers, that's not something you typically see in a Mexican dish, at least that I'm used to. Is that a traditional? This is, uh, this is a dish that has, uh, it's, uh, like, a Spanish influence from the, uh, the, Spanish the Spain right. area. It was brought to Mexico, they brought the olives and they brought the capers. Right. And, you know, Mexicans, we were trying to send, we're always hungry, so we make stuff up <laughs> um, as, we, as we go. Yes, As we sir. go hungry. <laughs> so this is, again. A little micro cilantro. A little micro cilantro. This will, this will blend right on it. Just to bring it up a little bit, a little bit of uh, squeeze fresh lime juice. Awesome. Awesome. Man, the people here in Pauly's Island, you guys are so lucky to have Chef Armando and Esmeralda here in your backyard. These guys are doing it right, kicking up the flavor, top notch, top notch food, top notch facility, top notch team. You guys are really blessed to have these guys right in your backyard. On the Grand Strand in general, we're lucky to have not only Armando, but all of the talented chefs that we have here on the Grand Strand. And this right here, this is why we call it the seafood capital of the world because we have fish like this right out of our waters. We have talented chefs like this right in our backyard. So what we have here on the Grand Strand is really not something to balk at. We are truly blessed. And I'm not going to talk anymore because I'm ready to eat. Chef, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Well, this is Man. this is it. This is what it looks like. Beautiful. Guys, check. And then you guys let me know what it tastes like. Check that out. We've got the beautiful sauce Tres with the vegetables. Me. That crispy, crispy skin on that local snapper. Here we go. Here we go. I'm going to make sure I get a lot of it. There we go. I need a napkin for sure. And I'm coming right in here, chef. I'm going to get a little bit of this fish go right with on the it. skin and a lot of this vegetable here. I'm going to make sure I get me an olive. Oh, boy. Here we go. Wow. Mmm, huh. man, right there, chef. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much. I so wish you were here in the kitchen with us right now, because that is so good. The texture of the vegetables, the heat of those homegrown jalapenos, boy, woo -hoo. They, they, but not overpowering. Really nice and balanced. No, they're they're beautiful. It's a they're warming. Be they have a really beautiful flavor. Mm. flavor. The crunch, the vegetables, the whole thing. I'm going to Veracruz, man. You gotta come and take me down there. Well, I gotta show, gotta go. you gotta show we me gotta around. We gotta take a tour to Mexico. Let's go, next time you go down, I'm coming with you guys. Well, with this dish, or the dishes that I do here, I don't just try to do a dish that you're gonna come and eat and not know anything about it. I wanted to bring Mexico and to Polis Island and to your table and to your palate without you going all the way to Mexico and experience. Um, I try to uh, trust me the uh, the you know the uh, the flavors and the uh, textures and the colors and everything from Mexico to your table here at Seoul Cocina Mexicana. Awesome man! Well, you're doing a great job here at Seoul. Paulie's on. You're lucky to have this man right in your backyard and the Grand Strand. If you haven't been down to Paulie's on, check out Chef Armando. Check out Chef Esmeralda. These guys are doing it right day in and day out. Everything is prepped that day to order fresh ingredients, homegrown vegetables. That's why they call it the seafood capital world, because we were able to have all these fresh ingredients. Chef, thanks for having me. Thank you, I guys. I love it. Thank Keep you. up it's the good pleasure. work. Keep up the good work. I got to get some more of this, man. <laughs> this is too right. good. Beach easy.